Hello, it's Flo and today I want to show you the CM10 on my HTC One X. So this is the version released the 17th of October because this is the last one for today, we are the 17th, uh, the 19th. Okay, uh, so we get this version there and this is a non with version Jelly Bean with 4.1.2 and this is Cyanogen mod based on the last one this 17th November. Okay, so this custom ROM uh, has new updated as sync with his last CM uh, update. There is also the G apps already installed. We can see Gmail, Google. Uh, we have also the uh, where? navigation, the Play Store, Play Music, uh, the voice search, and I think this is all. We have also the YouTube and Maps from uh, Google. Okay, so the G apps is uh, already installed on the custom ROM. You just have to install it. We also have a good application. This is the file manager already installed and just have to flash the custom ROM without any G apps. And this is so cool to get this explorer on the CM10 just there. We have the camera working there with the panorama mode. You can see maybe uh, how this camera is just so cool. We have to focus by pressing uh, on the screen. We have different settings there. For example, we can see how fast it is to switch one by one. We also get more there at this place. We have the camera with video recording. We can just uh, switch by 720 to full HD with the uh, 180 there. We get also the panorama mode and let's go to test if it works very well. So we get it and we have to test it. Let's go. So you can maybe see that it don't work very well. Maybe try again. So you can see panorama mode is not as good as we can uh, up for example. But everything else is working very good and we get the Galway there, for example, the CM10 uh, with different, uh, with our Galway, this is the 3G Galway. Uh, we get the messaging with the keyboard, this is this keyboard, you know, the CM keyboard is just amazing. And we get there the different options with different numbers, we get different uh, sign there, the second, the two points there the more three points and return button we can just uh, uh, hide the keyboard maybe by typing at another place or just by return button we get also the clock just there we know this is that we get the lock screen with the um, lock screen there with uh, just the clock if we get it to show more we get it and return just to keep uh, back to our screen we have also the lock screen with Google Now, camera and an uh, uh, unlock the screen. On system settings, we get different things as the launcher interface. We have the home screen settings, different things there. We also get the Torah settings, join with apps and general settings. Okay, I can show you just there, but I have the auto rotate uh, screen just activate there. On the drawer, we can just uh, say that on long press on apps there we have uh, the possibility to change by install date and we have also widget there and with long press we have just nothing okay back to the home screen there we have menu we can manage app or wallpaper on lock screen settings, we have the screen security, the background for the lock screen, the clock alignment, battery status, owner info, for example, just change it with flow, wolf, just there. And let's go there to the lock screen and we get there, uh, where it is, oh, yes, this is there, flow, wolf, uh, owner information. We get also the weaver calendar, we can just uh, enable it, agree, and display weaver, uh, use custom location, yes or no. We also get the calendar, for example, I have no event so I can't show you that. The slider shortcuts, you can just switch by which one you want to use. You can use, for example, just change by application, activity, contact, direct dial, direct message, and others. Okay, so let's just back 
cancel and get back you, you have uh, when you do that to save it by with this button moreover there's button actions long press and back button can change with next song previous song uh, and others for example the long arm button also two different things uh, this is for the lock, lock screen we have to change it also with the launcher there is also different themes that you can install later on system applications and system settings you have uh, show the clock or not just there you have APM uh, style you can just change the battery icon statue the signal style status and show notification count or not you also get notification drawer you can see what you can change, excuse me. You have also the wallpaper, the font size, you can change by uh, huge, for example, if you use tablet mode or others. You have screenshots for the poor menu, this is this one, you know, the poor menu with screenshots and hardware keys. We can just sh say that we get also the battery options there. We get the different profiles because this is cyanogen mode review and we get different accounts we can switch. You can add, for example, account and you have to switch with the application you have installed. I have also to say something about the performance. You have to change CPU governor, for example, just there. I want to thank you to have seen this video. I want to say to you, if you like it, just thumbs up. And moreover, I want to thank all this Cyanogen Mod team and Trip and Raver to have created this thread on HTC One X. Thanks to have seen this video that was flow.